Hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Big Jim Blogcast. Well, I came on a little early. Um, I, you know, so, anyways, whoops, we don't want that. Uh, yeah, so I know the Super Bowl's underway. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Oh, all right. So the Super Bowl is underway. Um, how's everybody doing? So, and it takes some more. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Craft beer mafia. There we go. Um, all right. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, yeah. So, hello, everyone. This is Big Jim Vlogcast Live. Uh, let's see here. I'll do some screen adjusting. Um, all right. So, this is Big Jim Vlogcast Live version 6.0, episode 279. Um, all right, so let me see here. Just doing some like it is Sunday, January 11, 2024. The Super Bowl's almost all, like uh, almost is like on too. So I want to get something out of the way. Um, so far, the score is zero zero. Um, it uh, yeah, so anyways, so all right, so yeah. All right, let me see. Let me write hello. All right, so yeah. Um, and you're out there. Uh, all right, so let me adjust my set here. All right. All right. So anyways, yeah, uh, welcome to Big Jim Podcast Live version 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11, 2024. So, hello, Michelle, hello, how are you? Um, glad to see you out here. Now, all right, before I do my introductions, before I do the disclaimer who we are, I know the Super Bowl's on. I've got, like, uh, the Super Bowl. I'm going to predict who's going to win the Super Bowl by the by the wheel here. All right. So, anyways, um, we've got three ra six random numbers: uh, 49ers, KFC, KFC, Ben Purdy, Patrick Mahomes, right there. Uh, let's see, spin the wheel. Here we go. All right, KC 28, Kansas City 28. All right. Oh, okay. Let me catch it right here. Uh, all right. So, um, all right, uh, and now 49ers. Oh, close game. It's going to be a close game. 49ers, 31. Oh, okay. Well, we'll attack that. All right. So, people, this is my Super Bowl prediction for tonight. All right. KFC 28, 49ers, 31. So, anyways, yeah. All right, you got it. So, okay. All right. So we put that in up here. All right. Spin the wheel. All right. Okay, KF Kansas City. All right. Kansas City. Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City 28 to 49ers. Thirty-one. All right, there we go. All right. 49ers 31. All right. So okay, good. We got that. All right. So made my Super Bowl prediction. All right. So all right. Okay, so okay, all right. Uh, all right, we got that. We got that all figured out and out of the way. Uh, look at my uh, all right, so yeah, all right. So we got that all figured out out of the way there. Um, okay, so yeah, all right. All right. 
Okay, so yeah. All right, so well now that we got that out of the way, we can put the wheel, put the wheel someplace else, so I spin the wheel, make the Super Bowl deal. There we go. All right. Okay, so we'll put it down here. All right. So this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode uh 279. Oh, San Francisco 3, KC0. Um Sunday, January 11th, 2024. Uh, I'm Jim. Uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, I'll do my intro. Okay, yeah. Welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 6.0, episode 279. Big Jim Blogcast Live airs Sundays on Facebook, the occasional uh, Fridays and one o'clock Wednesdays. We're now in our 60 years day. Big Jim Blogcast Live debuted back in 2018. So this year, uh, we do more with you craft beer reviews. Expect more craft. We've done over 250 plus. Uh, tonight's craft. Excuse me. Tonight's craft beer is strawberry cream ale by the uh, Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. I'll tell you about that later. We pair it with a good spirit. We got Crown Royal Vanilla going on here, plus a good cigar. Um, all right. So, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. It's a uh, Bolivier Havana Cuba. Um, mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So this year, okay, retro, vintage, classic, nostalgic. Yes, years are the buzzwords here. Um, it, uh, yeah, uh, we do classic. We talk about classic movies, classic rock, classic TV. Uh, classic toys, classic pro wrestling, classic albums. Uh, with this, along with this week in Van Halen history, classic rock. Um, and we give birthday shout outs to our friends. Uh, my sidekick, Cactus Jack, is here. Um, say hello, buddy. Say hello, buddy. Yeah, oh yeah, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode. 279. 279. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he does happy birthday impressions, too. We'll be hearing from him a little bit later on tonight. So, all right. So, yeah, where were we? All right. Mm. <laughs> all right. So, anyways, yeah. Where were we? Like, we, like I said, we uh, local events, bongo solos. All right. Birthday shout outs to our friends, sidekicks of Cactus Jack, countdowns, uh, local events. Uh, the blogcast now is, uh, is uh, seen in U.S. and Canada worldwide, uh, the U.K., Mexico, France, Spain, Germany, etc. Uh, thanks for watching. Tune in and turn on and uh, enjoy the show. Politics and religion are banned here, and I want to remind everybody, and I will tonight, that uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So, like it, we're not, like I share, subscribe to us, we're not spam. Um, yeah, and I want to give shouts out right now to uh, the... Um, um all the all the Port Elgin groups, the Sarnia groups, Sarnia Rocks, uh Michelle, you guys rock, uh Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, um all the mm, all right, all the like uh Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock groups, all the craft beer, cigars. Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, blog movies, blog spot, blog groups, classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, rubrics. What are doing? Cube time tonight. Uh, Ten spins. You know, try and get like a full color. This is a classic Rubik's cube. Um, so yeah, um, from the eighties. So all right. So we all, I already made my Super Bowl prediction. KF, Kansas City Chiefs, twenty-eight. To uh, the 49ers, 
31. So it's going to be a close. It's going to be close, people. Uh, nope, not there. Um, all right, not there. I'm just gonna, and I'm probably going to be doing some sharing of the blogcast. So, all right. So yeah. Um, all right. So yeah. All right. All right. So yeah. Um. Mm, all right. Hmm. Okay. So. All right. Sorry. I mean, okay. So here we go. All right. So, yeah. And I got my intro uh, over there, but I uh, want to give a disclaimer. Um, um, I may say a few bad, dirty words tonight, like shit, damn, screw, fuck. Uh, you know what? If I do, they slip out, cover your ears, go to your safe space, and... Um, yeah, maybe I won't say them again. So, all right. So, and uh, tonight on tap, uh, we've got, like, uh, we're going to do some birthday shout-outs. Like I said, we're going to do some countdowns, some some major events to local events. Uh, we're going to go, um, it's the uh, Terminator series in my best of, or uh, part uh, three of six. This time it's Terminator, Terminator 3, The Rise of the Machines. Uh, the a one-hit wonder TV show by the late Patrick Swayze, The Beast. Um, and a classic board game, How to Host a, a Murder. The classic tag teams, The Dynamic Dudes. Are, uh, we'll take a look at the Exegor Slug from Empire Strikes Back. Our rock star crashes, Buddy Holly and Tim Kelly from Slaughter. Um, and Tape Deck Classics, we look at The Wildlife by Slaughter. And this week in Van Halen history, and we'll have 10 gong salutes to... To uh, hey, whoa, there you go. Hey, Sue, how's it going? All right, hey, yeah. So, and we'll uh, have 10 gong salutes to like a uh, uh, couple of people that passed away. Um, all right, so if we get going, boom. All right, so, mm, okay, so here we go. Uh, okay, uh, I know, I know. You missed the spin the wheel, the Super Bowl deal. I had uh, I had KFC or KFC at twenty eight and the forty nine ers at thirty one. So I think it's going to be close. So, mm. all right. Mm. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, where uh, where where is that? All right. So. Like that right there. All right. So, yeah, like, uh, thank you for watching. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, um, 6.0 episode 279. If you're watching from the Big Jim Blogcast Live, too. So, all uh, right. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So, Big Jim Blogcast Live. All right. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. Hmm. All right. Well, there we go. All right. So, yeah, likes. All right. Thank you for the likes and the loves. Fuck. All right. Woo. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so, yeah. All right. So, yeah, we got like, like it's uh, Sunday, January 11th, Super Bowl 58 on there. Right now, it's like uh, San Francisco 3, Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs zip. So, I did the spin the wheel, make the deal uh, with this. So, you know, you're probably seeing a lot of this. All right. Where? Oh, oh, yeah. So, all right. Okay. So, we get into it tonight. Um, my craft beer tonight. Um, mm, all right. My craft beer for tonight. Mm. I got a good cigar going on here. It's a Boliviar Habana Cuba. Got this from Riverfront Cigars right here in Sarnia. Um, we got that there. Then my craft beer review it is called Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. I want to give you guys like uh, uh, like now my craft beer review. All right, this is my beer rating system right here. It's from ten to nine or ten to one. Outstanding, awesome, excellent, very good, above average, average, below average, not very good, terrible, and awful. So you know, there we go. 
And uh, before we get going here, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So what am I going to give it? 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 1, 2. So stick around, um, if you will, throughout the blogcast. I got to get a reading on it all through the blogcast. And also, if you get a chance, if you are in, uh, this is called The Growler. It's Ontario's Craft Beer Guide. This is Volume 6, Issue 1. Um, this uh, this little handy booklet tells you all about the uh, current up-to-date craft breweries in Ontario. And it's available in your local LCBO for $3 or your local craft brewery. So there we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Boom. I'm about to. All right. So, Bad Apple Brewing Company, Strawberry Cream Ale. All right, let's see. All right, I got their glass. All right, so, okay. So, fourth down and one. So, there we go, after the game. Live Super Bowl updates all through the broadcast. So, you know, all right, let's see this baby pour. All right, well, not bad, not so good. Or no, I don't know yet. So, all right, okay. Mm. Now that's a little bit sweet. That is very sweet. Um, very sweet aftertaste to it. Look at the texture of that. Um, you can definitely taste the strawberry in there. Good for them. Uh, strawberry is my favorite fruit, veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit, veg, fruit. I'm going to go with fruit. Um, mm. All right. Woo. Oh, yeah, that is. Tangy, tasty, sweet. All right. Yeah, it puts a smile on my face. Not, well, I mean, come on. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. All right. That is like just strawberry sweet. Oh, my goodness. Well, holy. Oh, yeah. You can like just look at the texture in that. Like, holy. Mm. 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 Whoa. Whoa. I did bring back up and I am chasing it down with like Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. 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 Yeah. 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 Wow. That is very sweet tasting. So, all right. So, yeah, Bongo Solo there. All right. So, yeah. Um, all right. Fuck. Whoa. Now that is like, uh, that is like, um, oh, man. So, you know, when, when I do these craft beer reviews, you know, I just don't go, well, it's a very exquisite, very elaborate tasting craft beer. You know, it's very, no, you know, I don't do any of that shit. I just go with my gut. And uh, so, yeah. And, uh, like I said, mm. whoa, you can have this for breakfast if you wanted. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Very, very sweet tasting. Um, but it's got to grow on me all through the broadcast. So, I mean, uh, if you uh, stick around, you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so. Like I, so many people have done in the past. Mm. Mm. Hmm. All right. So yeah. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, a good cigar go going here. Um. All right. So, and we got tube time all through the blogcast. Good. Uh, like, there's the Big Jim blogcast live coffee mug. I'm just gonna randomly turn it for five turns and try and get a color. Um. Oh oh oh! Wait wait. Here we go. All right. So. Didn't end up with that, but there we go. That's, you know, put it in its uh, big Jim podcast live coffee mug. All right. So as we get to, uh, oh, that beer, that, that beer really has an aftertaste to it. All right. So, mm, okay. So maybe I'll put this over here, this down here. Um, all right. So easy access to my cigar. Mm. Mm. All right. So, 
Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. So. Mm. Mm. All right. It is still. Um, I've got it going on like on YouTube here. Um, it, oh, oh, OK. There's an upset score update. San Francisco three. Um, KFC seven, I think. Yeah. All right. Mahomes is like, uh, yeah, Kansas City seven, San Francisco three. So, all right. So let's do some, uh, we need some birthday shout outs here right now. So, all right. So we're going to turn. All right. All right. Birthday shout outs. All right. We need some birthday shout outs now. All right, so hmm, let's see there. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. All right, from February 5th to February 11th, Becky Tibbetts, Troy Piper, Steve McLean, Leah Hayward, Julie Louise Beresford, Tyler Olson, Rita Bovieu, Chad Grow, Stephanie Wallace, Craig Deanhouse, Bill Wilson, Terry McMillan, Mike Blotzer. All right, people. Happy birthday to every one of you, and I hope you got what you wanted on your birthday. So, oh, yeah. All right. One more time. All right. Okay. Now we put him back. All right, people. Yeah. So I wanted to wish all of you guys and girls a very happy birthday. From Big Jim Blogcast Live. So, and the score is San Francisco three, uh, Chiefs seven. So, I predicted, all right. So, I predicted, I gave the prediction of KC 28, 49ers 31. Let's see if that holds up throughout the game. So, all right. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, and we are coming to you live from Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. 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 All right. So, yeah, boom, bongo solo there. All right. So, yeah, uh, we're going to do some countdowns now to my, your most, like, important holidays here. All right. Father's Day is 126 days away. Mother's Day is 91 days away. Canada Day is 141 days away. Valentine's Day, for all you, for all the love, Lauren, out there, that's only three days away. Remember that. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is 35 days away. Daylight Savings Time, where we turn the clocks ahead, I think, 28 days away. Our first long weekend, Canadian long weekend, Victoria Day, is 99 days away. And spring, even though it still seems like it seems like spring for these past few days, spring is 30. What spring is 37 days away. All right, yeah, and that deserves a bongo solo in itself. All right, so yeah, okay, so. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all right our, uh, uh, I'll get to so I'll get the local events in a minute but um, our craft beer for tonight accompanied by this great cigar good cigar the Bolivia Habana from Riverfront Cigars here in Sarnia and Cario, Canada it's accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla um, mm. 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 All right. Um, the crown favorite tonight it is Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. They're on Highway 21. They're a big ass barn, man. They're I've been there. They're a cool. They've uh, produced some winners here. Uh, I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa, yeah, very sweet. You can taste the strawberry overload in that. Um, I do give this a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, 
feel free to throw out a number. Um, but uh, I'll tell, I'll go on record right now saying this is a good breakfast beer. I mean, I think this is healthy enough you could have it for breakfast. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, lactose, hop, potassium sorbate, water, malt, uh, Ontario strawberries, of course, Ontario strawberries. So I'll just set this back here. Um, all right. And once again, uh, I'm going to remind everybody before we get going that Big Jim Podcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shout out to anyone watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups. Sarnia Rock, supporting Sarnia 2.0. Uh, Michelle, you guys rock. Um, Chain Reaction, a uh, great band there. All the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups. All the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock groups, craft beer, cigars. Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, all the blog groups. All the classic TV and movies, all the birthdays, bongos, Rubik's. And Terminator fans, all right, Arnold Schwarzenegger fans. Okay, so what we got, we got here, just reading my, all right, so, okay, all right, so, yeah, um, all right, mm. Mm. okay, still three to seven, uh, Chiefs are leading, um, so, mm. <laughs> All through the broadcast, I'm going to give you live Super Bowl updates. Um, you know, so hopefully my prediction comes true, you know. So anyways, as we move on, some local events here. All right. So now for the longest time, we didn't have, uh, um, we didn't have like local events because we had something called COVID, which restricted our ability to move. The buzzwords were hiatus, rescheduled, canceled, postponed. But here we go. Um, April 19th, 2024. Hysteria, a tribute to Def Leppard at Rustic and Sarnia. Ticketscene.ca events. Um, Rustic, a great little like uh, music venue on the outskirts of Sarnia. Um, Saturday, Fe February 24th, 2024. 8 p.m. is made in Canada at Rustic also. A tribute to Iron Maiden, ticketscene.ca. Sunday, April 14th, remember this, 2024, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. is the Sarnia, ninth annual Sarnia Pop Culture Show at the Point Edward Memorial Arena. Uh, it's put on by the guys from Future Pastimes in Sarnia. It's a multi-genre, uh, uh, multi-genre. You've got comics, cosplay, games, toys, maybe celebrity guests, maybe. Um, I'm at the Brooklyn Brawler, Steve Lombardi, at the 2019 Sarnia Pop Culture Show. Nice guy. $10 per entry. Friday, March 1st, 2024, 8 p.m. Riverside Unplugged at the Bad Dog Sarnia downtown. Go for that. Friday, February 23rd, 2024, at the Polish Hall in Sarnia, 173 Exmouth. Uh, is the band Rock Steady. Uh, $10 at the door. Cash bar from 7.30 to 11.30 p.m. Um, Saturday, March 2nd, 8 p.m., have a cigar. Pink Floyd tribute at Ruster. Uh, Sarnia Kisman Rip Fest. Mm, Friday, June 14th to Sunday, June 16th. It's online, baby. Uh, Centennial Park in Sarnia. You can have ribs. You can have craft beers. You're going to have live music. Keep on watching the broadcast for more details on that. Uh, but it's always a good time. 90s party, Saturday, April 13th, 2024. 7.30 till 12 p.m. at Black Gold Brewery in uh, in Petrolia, 395 Fletcher Street, Petrolia. Great time there, uh, Black Gold Brewery. Um, mm, Black Gold Brewery, another one of those great little like uh, brew, craft breweries in and around Ontario, Canada. Um, Saturday, February 17th, 2024 at 7.30 p.m. is the El Carnival Party. Brazilian themed at Black Gold Brewery. We're gonna be drinks, prizes, and live music. All right, boom. Mm. All right, yeah. So that's that's what we have for our local events here. So all right. So yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Once again, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version six point episode two hundred and seventy nine. 
Mongo solo there. Um, hmm. All right. So, hmm. All right. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Super Bowl update 49ers still at three. Chiefs at seven, so I predicted that Chiefs, uh, Kansas City Chiefs would do 28, and 49ers would do uh, 31. So hopefully, like, uh, you know, that, all right. So, mm. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, all right. We've got some rock star plane crashes. Um, all right, so our craft beer for tonight. Accompanied by like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, it is called, oh yeah, well, good stuff here. Mm. All right. So, our craft beer for tonight it is called, it is Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. And wow, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, mm, mm, mm. wow, it's very sweet. Uh, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, please, uh, if you want to throw out a number, see if it matches up with mine. Um, but I got to get a read on it all through the blogcast. Right now, I'm going to go out and saying it's probably the most healthiest beer you'll ever have. Probably can have this for breakfast or mm, mm. look at the thickness. Wow. Very, very sweet. Ah, woo. yeah. So. And I did bring backup. I did bring another one. So, all right. So, yeah. Mm, we got our. So, we're all loaded up tonight. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all right. Do some cube time. All right. So, I'll probably be all through the blogcast. I'll probably oh, look my big gym blogcast live coffee mug. So, I'll probably be trying to get a. I'll probably do about. Five or ten turns on the on the cube, trying to get a a full like uh, um, side color side there. Right now, I'm not really that successful. Um, all right, so all right, one. Okay, so all right, so look at that, 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 that. Yellow, no. Uh, all right, so we put that and put that way back over here. Um, all right, so it, uh, yeah, so, mm. <laughs> all right, so it's cube, it was cube time, all right, so, and say hello to uh, Cactus Jack, hello, everybody, hello, everybody, I'm Cactus Jack, yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0. Woo! All right. All right. So we'll put him back. Now, we get to the meat and potatoes. We've got Terminator. We are, as you well know, um, we are going to do some, like, uh, three gong salutes to... Uh, all right. So, uh, as you very well know, uh, we'll do some uh, uh, ten gong salutes to a couple of people that passed away couple of legendary entertainers um as you well know we're doing our, our terminator series so so far we've done the terminator um all right and uh terminator 2 judgment day all right and what are we going on now all right so we've got uh terminator 3 rise of the machines um it uh the dvd here um now this was released july 2nd 2003 uh budget 188 million of course it did, did good box office 434 million but the cast this time around arnold schwarzenegger is the t800 t850 terminator nick stall is john connor um um mm, all right so nick stall is john connor christiana loken as the tx terminatrix Claire Danes is Kate Brewster. Earl Bone is Dr. Peter Siberian. David Andrews, Lieutenant 
General Robert Brewster. Now, of course, the plot of, of uh, all right, thank you. Thank you for the likes and loves. Now, of course, premise of the movie, uh, Skynet sends a highly advanced Terminatrix, uh, the TX Terminatrix, this uh, fearsome young lady right here, uh, back in time to kill all top members of the future human resistance. As John Connor's location is unknown, the resistance sends back a reprogrammed T-850 to protect John and Kate. So, so basically the story goes, Terminator 3, Connor has been living off the grid. And uh, since the death of his mother, Sarah Connor, Linda Hamilton does not appear in this. The T-850, uh, hmm, uh, hmm. Tell reveals to John and uh, and uh, and Kate that uh, their actions only delay Judgment Day, and Skynet's attack will happen that day. Uh, the Terminator intends to like uh, uh, put uh, take them down to like uh, Mexico to escape the nuclear fallout when the attack begins at Crystal Peak. Um, the TX and the T850 battle. The TX uh, repro. Uh, Damages the T850, reprograms and kill John, but the T850 systems reboot. It's a knockdown drag out fight between like the TX and the T850, but the T850 helps John and Kate escape from the TX, holding a a, um, a bunker door open and using its last hydrogen fuel cell to destroy all uh, both of like uh, him and the TX term Terminatrix. Uh, John and Kate reach Crystal Peak. John realizes it's a fallout shelter. Uh, um, command facility for uh, commit like uh, uh, politicians and uh, military officials. John accepts his fate. That's the TX in a nutshell. So we've got and in this DVD. Well, uh, this time around, the Terminatrix. This Terminatrix. She's made of liquid metal poly alloy. -er. She's got like uh, fire. She can shoot. Rip, she can. She has weapons in her arm. Um, she can taste DNA. She has like a built-in sensory system for the all the area codes in Los Angeles. But like I said, they couldn't find John Connor, so she begins destroying, killing off his lieutenants. Um, so and I posted several scenes from the movie on my blogcast page and my Facebook page, plus the trailer for Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Uh, this one's a pretty deadly, like... Uh, She's a pretty deadly, like, uh, Terminatrix. So, um, all right. So, yeah, uh, this, this time around. Um, so, and everybody, I, I don't think I'm giving away any spoilers when, you know, because everybody uh, who hasn't seen Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. So, all right. Okay, Bongo Solo there, and I did. Whoa, yeah. Mm. All right. So, and I did post several uh, movie clips from Terminator 3 and the uh, and the trailer on my blogcast pages and my Facebook pages. So, all right. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Went down the wrong way, but all right. So. Mm, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, version 6.0, episode 279. Oh, 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 Sunday, January 11, 2024. Now we've got an update. Both teams at 10. 10, 49ers 10, Chiefs 10 uh, is the second. There's uh, 4.49 left in the second quarter there. Um, yeah, so this game is going. This game is like rocking and rolling. So. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Mm. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Um, it, uh, yeah, holy. They are, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Number 81 just went down. All right. So, hmm. All right, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live versus 6.0, episode turn 79, Sunday, January 11, 2024. Um, yeah, 
it uh all right um hmm. okay i got my craft beer going tonight's craft beer accompanied by crown royal vanilla hmm. all right so hmm. 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 tonight's craft beer it is called uh strawberry cream ale by the pineapple brewing company in uh, zurich ontario i'm trying it for the very first time tonight and wow huh Mm. Whether it remains a spring, summer, or fall beer or winter beer, I'll have to elaborate on that. But I'll say this: you could probably have this beer for breakfast. It's got loads, shit loads of strawberry in it. It's very sweet. Mm. Mm. All right. Like I said, I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to throw it a number, like I like so many people have have done. So, yeah. Mm, I brought back up too. So, all right. Mm, okay. So, mm. Mm. <laughs> all right. So, as we move on now, we've got our one hit one, our, our uh, mm, the beast, our television one hit wonder, the beast, starring the late Patrick Swayze. Now, this was aired on A and E. One season, 13 episodes from January 15th, April 23rd, 2009, which means it wasn't, it was, it wasn't on any major prime time schedule. So it wasn't on there. Um, it, uh, yeah. So the principal cast um, was Patrick Swayze. Uh, there's the cast right there. Um, hmm. Veteran agent, uh, veteran FBI agent Charles Barker. Travis Fimmel is Ellis Dove, a rookie FBI agent. Uh, check Kevin J. O'Connor is Henry Conrad's FBI supervisor. Lindsay Poulter is Rose Lawrence. Ray Beaumont is Larry Gillard, and then FBI agent. Now, premise plot of uh, the Beast was veteran FBI agent Charles Barker takes on a rookie FBI agent named Ellis Dove. Barker's techniques in bringing uh, criminals to justice are controversial and border on illegal. Uh, Barker is being investigated by fellow FBI agents for alleged misconduct. Uh, Barker is Ellis's uh, uh, coach, mentor, partner, and trainer. A uh, member of the internal affairs team is trying to recruit Ellis to spy on Barker. So, as you can imagine, okay, uh, it was a good TV show for the whole... 13 episodes. Swayze, now, this was Patrick Swayze's final acting project TV performance before he passed away from pancreatic cancer at age 57, September 14, 2009. The Beast was unfortunately canceled because of, like, uh, low ratings. Now, all through the show, and if you really, if you had a relative that was dying of cancer, you could tell um Swayze was going through chemotherapy while shooting the show and that had to be tough for that had to be really tough on him because like me and if anybody else has rel had close relatives die of cancer uh pass away from cancer um it, it is tough it was tough on him uh you could see you basically could see the physical effects even though it you know so um hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. So the DVD, like I said, this DVD was released February 16, 2016 through Mill, Mill Creek Entertainment. They released like uh, the Beast Complete series. So, yeah, I would check it out, though. It's a good acting from final. It's uh, Patrick Swayze's final TV performance. Um, there's the cast right there, the principal cast. Um hmm. You know, so it uh, there you go. Here's the cheers to like uh, Mr. Patrick Swayze, the late Patrick Swayze, for like uh, toughening up and going through one hell of an ordeal. So cheers to you, Mr. Swayze. Mm. All right, and I did post several the trailer for the Beast and several TV clips uh, from the Beast. Look for it. Um, all right, so this battle. All right, so. Mm. Okay, so all right, boom, yeah, and it was it was like just uh, I remember watching this show and thinking like, wow, he must be in some terrible. He's got to go. He's going going through hell, but 
he's in a better place right now. So cheers to him, to, to Mr. Patrick Swayze. So there you go. Mm. Mm. All right, Super Bowl update here, still 10-10. Uh, they are, all right, so still second quarter, uh, fourth and 13. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Bongo solo, boom. All right. Oh, somebody fumbled. Big fumble there. All right. On KFC's, uh, on Kansas City's part. So, all right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. Mm, all right. So, ooh. The likes and loves there. All right. So, yeah. Mm, all right. As we go back, um, there we are. There we are. All right. So, okay. Yeah. So, this is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version uh, 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11, 2024. We've got live Super Bowl updates. We've got bongo solos. All right. We've got Cactus Jack right here. All right. All right. So, yeah, we've got a good cigar going on here. Um, mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, we've got, it's a good cigar. It's an Bolivier Habana Cuba from Riverfront Cigars here. We've got our craft beer going on tonight, chasing it down with Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right, so. Mm. Mm. All right, so, yeah, and the craft beer tonight um, is called Strawberry Cream Ale by the uh, River, by the, like, uh, Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. They're right off Highway 21, Big Ass Barn. Great brewery right outside, like, of uh, Godrich. I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very strawberry tasting sweet. Like, I mean, fuck. This would be a good spring beer. Good breakfast spring beer. Um, I recommend if you want to take breakfast, take it around 11 o'clock. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. All right. Wow. That is one sweet tasting beer with a very sweet aftertaste. That, I, I think I'm going to use that word a lot tonight. Sweet. Yeah, so I did bring back up. Um, all right, so put this right back here. Mm. Yeah, all right. So, um, once again, uh, mm. I move on now. We've got our classic board game. All right, so this is how to host a murder. So, all right. Mm. So, all right, our classic board game. It, I'm not going to open it up. I've got all the components inside here. This is by Canada Games Company. Uh, it was made in 1986. It takes eight players adult. It's uh, endorsed by this man, legendary, the late, late legendary Vincent Price. Um, you have to be like Mr. Master of Horror himself. So it's set in, it's, Okay, the premise set in September 1936, The Power. Um, mm. The Power Film Studios' latest release of Power and Greed, uh, set in Hollywood in the glitter and glare of Power Studios. New movie release, uh, Power and Greed. There's a party for the cast hosted by Power Films. Uh, like, uh, mm. it, uh, yeah, so. If you you gotta have a lighthearted attitude before towards blackmail, sex, larceny, deceit, and murder. The, the game is designed for eight adult players. It's so much fun. It's almost criminal. Um, now, a murder a murder is discovered during the film premiere, and the guests must decide among them who did it. So it's a real who done it. So, um, oh yeah, yeah, it's still ten ten. Um, now you get. Um, Contents in the game, you get a cassette tape which reveals the details of a murder, a diagram of the Power Arena Garden Theater, a host's uh, 
guides and instructions, eight guest invitations and envelopes, eight player clue manuals containing secret information for each player, eight holy clue packets, a detective's report with a diagram, name tags, optional dinner and costume suggestions for the truly adventurous suspects in the game. We've got Denise Amdeir, a young actress, Heidi Voltage, Power Philliams' newest stars, Yvonne B. Alone, Swedish-born actress, Hackford Ryder, a uh, brilliant screenplay writer, um, Savoy R. Fair, uh, British actor, Selden Lloyd, uh, Hollywood's preeminent directors, Stuart Dry Dyron, um, tall, dark, and handsome murder actor, Tatiana Tal, um, successful actress, retired gossip columnist. So, yeah, so it, like I said, I'm not going to open it up. I've got all the components in here. So, and I did post like a diagram, like a several, I posted several classic commercials on how to host a murder, uh, including the one with Mr. Vincent Price on my Facebook pages and my blogcast pages. So look for it. Um, all right. So here we go. I'll put this back here. All right. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So that's our classic board game. All right, boom. Oh, kick off. Let's see who's going to get it. All right. Okay, go, 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 go. All right, there we go. Okay. So, mm. all right. Mm. Okay, yeah. All right. So, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11, 2024. We're doing Super Bowl updates all through the all through the broadcast. Uh, my predictions were uh, Kansas City twenty eight, San Francisco forty nine ers thirty one. So hopefully it's a close game. I don't know. I, I may be wrong. No. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all right. So mm. okay. So do some cube time. All right, there we go. Trying to get like five. There we go. Don't mind me. Just I'm gonna try and get like ten turns. There we go. Mm, okay. So let's see. Can I get white? Uh. Mm. All right. White. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna put it back in Big Jim Blogcast Live coffee mug holster. Send it over here for now. Um. Yeah. So, mm, all right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, I want to remind once I'm going to remind everybody that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms. You listen to your podcast too. Plus, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. When you start to look, are you watching in the Port Elgin, Sarnia Groups, Sarnia Rocks, Michelle you Guys Rocks, supporting Sarnia 2.0, uh, Chain Reaction, great band there, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, uh, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, uh, classic rock groups, um, the craft beer, cigars, uh, sci-fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movie groups, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, Terminator, um, Toby Keith groups, right on. So, yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> okay. So, it, yeah, my craft beer for tonight. Got a good cigar going with it. Mm. 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 <laughs> All right. So, got like I said, uh, being accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Um. Mm. 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 All right. It is this is strawberry cream ale. I'm going to top this up. Mm. I'm trying this beer for the very first time tonight. So um, let, let me top this baby up here. Um, mm. All right. So I'm going to use the word sweet a lot tonight because this is that's what this beer is. It's called um, Strawberry Cream Ale. It is by the uh, Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Ah, wow. Yeah. 
That is sweet. If you like strawberries, I do too. My favorite fruit, um, fruit, vegetable. Somebody clear that out for me. Is strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? So I'm leaning towards fruit. But anyways, it's a good spring beer. Good breakfast beer if you start breakfast at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, look how thick that is. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, mm, mm. Mm. All right. So we put this back here. I do give it a minute and ten later on the broadcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, please feel free to throw in a number. Um, like a lot of you have done in the past. Mm. <laughs> All right. So mm. okay. So yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. All right, so okay. All right, mm. all right. So we get to our classic tag team, um, the Dynamic Dudes. Now they were formed in WCW in 1989. They lasted until like 1990. The Dynamic Dudes consisted of uh, of Johnny Laurinaitis uh, and of Johnny Ace. No one is Johnny Laurinaitis and Shane Douglas, this guy. Um, let's see, where is he? All right. But anyways, yeah, there you go. You get the idea. They uh, WCW management Jim Hurd and Booker Jim Ross put together Johnny and Shane as a pair of wrestlers with a skateboard as their gimmick. And here's the thing. Neither of them knew how to skateboard. <laughs> but it was pretty funny watching them back in the day. Johnny and Shane hated the name. They tried to get head booker Ric Flair to change it, but he didn't refuse to. They refused to. WCW head Jim Hurd handed Johnny and Shane Ted Turner credit cards to go shopping for skateboards and outfits for authenticity. They spent up to ten grand. Fuck, why, why can't I have a job like that? Um, they bought the best stuff, spending over ten grand of Ted Turner's money to get the gimmick over. But bought, Johnny and Shane, like I said, Johnny and Shane, they could not skateboard. And once the Everybody found out about it. They were heavily booed by the fans more than cheered. Um, the dudes would win, go, would win tag matches against jobber tag teams. The dudes would feud with the Midnight Express, uh, Cactus Jack, Mike Rotundo, Bud Sawyer, Kevin Sullivan, the Fabulous Freebirds, often losing to the higher profile established talent. Um, skateboards, they, 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 like I said, they couldn't skateboard. To, they couldn't skateboard to save their lives. So. They carried the ring, never really riding on them. They were briefly managed by Jim Cornette until he turned on them for the Midnight Express. Now, the dynamic dudes were stuck in, in the uh, lower WCW card and going nowhere. Johnny Ace and Shane Douglas both left WCW in 1990, breaking up as the dynamic dudes. Now, today, Shane Douglas is still an active wrestler. Johnny Ace, of course, he is the brother. This is Johnny Ace now. Um, he is the brother of legendary tag team, uh, brother of uh, Joe Laurinaitis, one half of the legendary tag team, the Road Warriors. Now, that's a tag team right there. Um, of course, Johnny, he is happily married. Now, huh, update on this as, okay, I'm not going to get into the uh, sex scandal leveled by, like, uh, it appears they're, like, uh, the past month. WWE, which is a rock by a sex scandal, um, it like uh, filed by former employee, uh, a former employee. Uh, uh, she alleged, I'm not going to say her name. She alleged that Vince McMahon trafficked her, the head owner of uh, WWE, trafficked her out to several WWE employees, including happily married Johnny A, Johnny Laurinaitis. And uh, it, uh, yeah, so, and uh, he has since resigned, but um, yeah, it, uh, the allegations, like, okay, all right, here's Mr. McMahon back in the day, and here he is right now, current picture, good Lord, it, uh, the allegations this employee uh, leveled towards him were really disgusting, so disgusting, uh, I'm not going to mention what his fetishes are on the air. It's just too really disgusting to like, uh, you know, uh, even mention it's cringe. It's cringeworthy, uh, but it is until proven guilty. 
Look at that. I mean, how do you go from like how do you go from like strong, confident guy here to this? I mean, he looks like a dollar store James Bond uh villain um who has to stay away from playgrounds and shopping malls. Like, I mean, come on. I I I mean, if you most of you were stuck in that situation, like if your boss was an all powerful, all powerful in the wrestling business, like came to you as hey, here's this chick. Go on, you know what? It's okay. Go have sexual relations with her. What would you do? Me? Yeah, no, no, thanks, man. You know, sorry. Uh, even if my job was on the line, I'd just say, yeah, no, no. I mean, once again, the allegations mentioned by the former WWE employee against Vince McMahon uh, are way too disgusting to even mention on air. So I'll leave that to you, the viewer, to uh, to decide there. So, but I did, uh, all right, so, all right, so, yeah, but I did post, um, several of, uh, yeah, I did post several of the dudes' matches and promos on my blogcast pages and my Facebook pages, um, they're pretty funny, uh, but uh, yeah, sort of like uh, not so things aren't so looking so good for Johnny Laurinaitis nowadays. As many people as uh, many female employees are coming forward with allegations and accusations against Mr. McMahon and Johnny Laurinaitis. And, you know, it's just, yeah, like I said, there's the fetishes, the stuff that he uh, reportedly wanted her to do was way too disgusting to mention on the air so but yeah there we go there's a classic tag team uh the dynamic dudes johnny ace and uh shane douglas so all right so we move on yeah all right mm. Mm. okay mm. <laughs> all right so all right on a lighter note, okay. Hey, so yeah, boom. All right, so yeah, that is this is Big Jim Blogcast Live and episode version 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11th, 2024. Oh, San Francisco 13. KFC, to, I think I keep mentioning KFC, Kansas City Chiefs 10. So my prediction was Chiefs 28, the 49ers 31. So it's not looking like that yet, but uh, here we go. So bongo solo. All right. So, yeah, mm. my craft beer tonight, I got a good cigar going on with it, like a Bolivier Habana Cuban. Mm. I brought back up once again. Mm. All right. Um, accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right. So, mm. 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 okay. Our crown of beer for tonight uh, it is called uh, Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. Um, Bad Apple, they're on. They're off of Highway 21. They're right on Highway 21. Big ass barn, can't miss it. Um, mm, trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Yes, good spring summer beer. Good breakfast beer if you happen to start breakfast at 11 o'clock. It's a very sweet tasting beer. Oh yeah, very tangy, sweet tasting. Hmm. 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 I, uh, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So if you're still here, sticking around, feel free to throw out a number. Like, uh, I mean, so many people have done. So, yeah, look at the texture in that. Look at the thickness in that. Um, I'll just top this up a little bit. Mm, all right. So, mm, okay. Mm, all right. Mm, all right. So, mm, wow. Uh, we're rocking and rolling here. We got live Super Bowl updates right now. San Francisco 13, 
the Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs, 10. Um, so I predicted uh, 49, 31, Kansas City, 28. Not looking like that yet, but there we're in the third, uh, first and 10. All right. So, yeah. Mm, all right. Mm. As we move on, all right, we've got our ex we got our Star Wars creature, the Exegorth from Empire Strikes Back. Um, Exegorths are also known as giant space slugs, and uh, are members of a still going base species that lived in hollowed hollowed out asteroids uh, that are also on the Hoth asteroid belt. So, space slugs reach, reach full maturity around 10 meters and reproduced by splitting into two smaller separate bodies off of a space slug. Um, a full grown space slug reaches 900 meters in length. Um, ships of this size were known to swallow, slugs of this uh, size were known to swallow starships whole and uh, they house in their organs uh, ecosystems living in uh, asteroid fields Slugs would uh, bur uh, burrow into an asteroid and come to a completely hidden. They fed on energy emissions, uh, minerals from the asteroid, floating space debris, and minox and passing ships. Um, well, the Millennium Falcon, of course, was hiding in an asteroid pursued by TIE fighters, believed to be a huge crater. Uh, Han Solo put the like, uh, dove into like what believed to be a huge crater, but was also a giant space slug. They tried to repair the damaged hyperdrive, and they shot the ground. The ground was shaky. Solo realized that they were where they really were and ordered everyone back inside, and they flew the Falcon out before the space slug closed its mouth. So look at that. There's a close-up of the space slug. All right. And I posted more backstory on the Exegorth on my blogcast pages and my Facebook pages, uh, plus a few clips of the Millennium Falcon escaping the uh, Exegorth. So there we go. And there we are. There's our, our Star Wars creature, uh, the Exogorth. All right. So, okay. Where do we go with this one? All right. So, yeah. Again. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's still 13 and 10. 13 for San Francisco, Kansas City, 10. Um, all right. So, hmm. Mm. I'm going to forewarn you guys, or maybe a bathroom break coming up, so just bear with me here. Mm. Mm. All right. It, uh, yeah. Mm. All right. As I end it, you well know. All right. So many cube time. All right. So I'm going to uh, take the cube out of its uh, big gym broadcast live coffee mug. All right. So ancient. It's an 80s toy. It's a Rubik's Cube. And I'm going to try and get one color, ten, less than 10 turns here. Uh, let's see. What do I want to focus on? Green. Um, okay. There we go. Mm, all right. So, ah, okay. all right. There we are. Um, mm, all right. So, yeah. All right. All right. So. All right. Didn't do that this time. You know what? Fuck it. Put it in. There'll be more. We'll add some more cube time later on. So, all right. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11th, 2024. Boom. All right. We've got the game going on here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Update. All right. It, uh, uh, sort, sort of scrimmage there. Um, it, oh, okay. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. And it looks like, hmm, all right. It looks like, hang on a minute here. Hmm. It looks like, oh, San Francisco 19, KC Chiefs 10. So, 19 and 10. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Boom. Huh. All right. 
So this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11th, 2024. And I want to remind you guys that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms or your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give thanks to everybody watching the Sarnia Port Elgin group, uh, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Uh, Sporting Sarnia 2.0, uh, Chain Reaction, all the great, like, uh, um, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock groups, all the craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog, the blog groups. Classic TV and movies, the birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, and the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger groups. So, yeah. Wow. There's celebrities at the game, too. John Hamm, uh, the little guy, Kevin Hart, uh, Liv Schreiber, you know, Paul McCartney there. Sir Paul McCartney's there. Big game here. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, Jerry Hall. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Our uh, craft beer for tonight. All right. Okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. You can hear my voice. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, 20 and 10 now. Update. Big update there. San Francisco 20, KC 10. So, yeah. So, we're in the third quarter of the game. All right. So, yeah. Um, all right. Boom. All right. All right. So, yeah. Um, hmm. It, uh, yeah, so, hmm. all right, so, yeah, it was, uh, where are we here? All right, so, hmm. all right, so, yeah, hmm. all right, so, hmm. we got another, all right, so, yeah, it's Big Jim Blogcast Live, hope you're enjoying it, you guys are enjoying yourselves, um, all right, so yeah, uh, hmm. Hmm. our craft beer for tonight, accompanied by a good cigar. I've got more of it. I got another one on the way. It's a Boliviar, uh, Havana, Cuba, Cuban. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so hmm. we accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. Hmm. All right, so. Mm. Crowd beer for tonight. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It is strawberry cream ale by the uh, Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, Canada. Right on Highway 21, Big Ass Barn. Uh, Bad Apple Brewing Company, great brewery. Mm. I'm trying this for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, very sweet, good spring summer beer. Um, good breakfast beer if you're having to start breakfast at eleven o'clock. Um, look at the thickness and texture of it; very thick, mm. cloudy. Um, yeah, I just uh, give that a little top up. I do give this a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. If you're still here and sticking around, feel free to throw it a number. Mm. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna use that word a lot tonight. Sweet, tangy. Mm. Hmm, yeah, yeah. All right. So, mm, all right. What do you think I'm going to give it? Like a nine, ten, seven? So, please, you know. So, all right. Bam. All right. So, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> all right. So, hmm. Mm, all right. So, put that one to bed. We got another one here. Mm, yeah, back up. Mm. 
All right. Oh. Uh, mm. mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. Five Super Bowl update. Uh, yeah. So it's an exciting game here. San Francisco twenty. Kansas City Chiefs 10. Mm. Mm. All right. So. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Mm. All right. Earlier, I made the prediction of uh, 49 and 31, KFC 28. Through the spin the wheel, make the deal. There we go. So, yeah. All right. In the wheel, make the Super Bowl deal. All right. So, mm. all right. And now we get to our like, uh, mm. Mm. okay. So we get to our rock star plane crashes. It was February 3rd, uh, 1959. So, mm. February 3rd, 1959, that the day the music died. Uh, we got this guy. All right. So, hmm. all right. So, yeah. Um, this guy, the uh, Buddy Holly music legend. All right. Um, it's, it happened February 3rd, 1959, Clear Lake, Iowa, um, United States. Um, if he had lived, Buddy Holly would be 65 years old today. Now, the plane was a Beechwood Bonanza. They took off at uh, Mason City Municipal Airport. The pilot was Roger Peterson. The passengers, along with like uh, uh, Buddy Holly, were the Big Bopper and Richie Valens. Um, there's a picture of the craft right there. Oh, man, pretty nasty. Um, all right. So J.P. Richardson, Big Bopper, uh, Richie Valens. Um, it uh, visibility at the time of the takeoff was light snow winds for up to 20 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour with like a with like a visibility of 10 miles. Um, the Bonanza um, Beechcraft, the Beechcraft Bonanza had uh, impacted terrain at high speeds going at 170 miles per hour, banked steeply to the right, boom, nose dived, uh, nose down altitude. Uh, the right wing uh, struck a, uh, the ground first, sending the plane into a into a roll like across a frozen field. Bam, bam, bam! Um, stopping at a fence at a, at, at, uh, at a na na neighbor's property. Uh, all aboard were killed instantly. Um, the official investigation: Roger Peterson had four years flying experience but was not qualified to fly in weather under instrument rules. The C Civil Aeronautics uh, Board concluded that it, it was the pilot's uh, unwise decision to fly a flight that required instrument fl instrumental flying skills. He didn't have them, and, uh, and, and he couldn't fly under uh, inadequate weather conditions. Now, the winter dance party had to continue on. Uh, Waylon Jennings, the late Waylon Jennings, Substituted for uh, for Buddy Holly and Bobby Beaver substituted for Buddy Holly um, right before takeoff. Waylon Jennings would make the decision that would save his life forever. Uh, but there was like, uh, all right, so yeah, uh, before the before they departed, um, they had to choose. Buddy Holly and Waylon Jennings had to choose their modes of transportation. Uh, Buddy Holly, of course, chose the plane. Waylon Jennings chose the bus. And he made a joke to Buddy Holly that, uh, you know what, I hope your plane crashes. And Buddy Holly says, well, I hope your bus freezes. And trust me, like, uh, Waylon Jennings had to live with those words uh, for decades, had to live with that, like, for for decades on his conscience. But, yeah, um, so, but uh, I posted more of the, the 
of the Buddy Holly plane crash on my blogcast pages and my Facebook pages. It went like, bam, here we go. And Buddy Holly, boom, game over. So, yeah. And I posted, like I said, I posted more of that on my, like, uh, more more of the accident uh, on my, like, uh, on my blogcast pages, my Facebook pages. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty, as you can see by the wreckage, um, that was pretty, oh, ugh. but uh, yeah, it, uh, if he would have survived, he would have turned like 50 years old, or no, he would have been 65 years old today. So, um, also killed in the crash with the big bopper, J.P. Richardson and Richie Valens. Da -da 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 -bomba. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so mm, okay. Mm. 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 All right, all right. So, excuse me. All right, still 2010. Um, it's still mm, okay. No, hold on here a sec. Um, live Super Bowl updates. It's still San Francisco maintains a 10 point lead over Kansas City. So, so it's still not like uh, what I predicted 49ers by 31 to KFC by 28, K Kansas City Chiefs by 28. So, mm. Mm. All right. Bongo solo here. Woo. All right. All right. So, yeah. Um, mm. All right. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0, episode 279. It is Sunday, January 11th, 2024. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's give more likes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. More likes and loves there. All right. So, yeah. Mm, okay. Mm, pretty nasty tumble there. Um, huddling up. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, it. Uh, mm, mm, all right. Tonight's craft beer accompanied by. A good Cuban cigar. Uh, this is like uh, Bolivier Havana, Cuba. Mm. Um, accompanied by like uh, with it Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right. So, mm. Mm. all right. Um, tonight's craft beer is called. Um, mm. All right. I'm just going to top this up a little bit. All right. We have Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, Canada. They're right on Highway 21, right outside of Godrich. Uh, big Ass Barn, a great little brewery right there. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very sweet. Very tang tangy tasting. Good breakfast beer. You have to start your day at 11 o'clock. You have to have, it's uh, probably one of the most healthiest beers out there. It's very sweet, very sweet and tangy. And I use those, I'm going to use that word a lot. And I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here and sticking around, feel free to like throw it a number. So, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Quarterback. Oh, yeah. Quarterback didn't make it right there. So, yeah. Uh, good spring and summer beer. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I'll put this back right here. Um, all right, so okay, mm. all right, mm. all right, so yeah, mm. Oof. Mm. exciting game we got going on here, fourth quarter. Um, San Francisco is gonna like punt the ball, punt the football down the field there. So, um, yeah, I've got it going on. So, yeah, it's still 20 to 10. Um, San Francisco has a 10-point lead over the Chiefs. So, yeah. Mm. 
It is big. Mm. All right. So yeah. All right. There we go. So talk. All right. Um, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 6.0 episode 279, Sunday, January 11th, 2024. Um, oh yeah, big conference huddle, you know. So, all right, and so yeah. Um, hmm. we get to our tape deck, we'll get to our tape deck classic in a minute. Just going over these, like, uh, hmm. all right, just going over these, like, uh, notifications. All right, so. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Boom. All right. Bongo solo there. Um, all right. You say hi to Cactus Jack. Say hello, everyone. This is Cactus Jack. All right. Yeah. Repeats everything I say. So, all right. And what do we got here? Oh, yeah. KFC or KC intercepted by the 49ers. There we go. All right. So we we'll get to our tape deck classic right here. See? There we go. Um, okay. So, yeah. All right. We've got Slaughter, the wildlife, also available in TV form. All right. There we go. There's like a CD and there's the uh, cassette. There's the Slaughter the Wildlife. Um, all right. So, yeah. All right. So, we get. All right. And here we have. Here we have. We have the whole band here. Um, the original bit of Slaughter band. All right. So. Hmm. All right. There we go. There's a close picture of those pretty boys there, straight from the pages of Metal Edge. You've got, okay, The Wildlife uh, was released April 21st, 1992. It's produced by Mark Slaughter and Dana Strum. The band, of course, Mark Slaughter, lead singer guitar, Tim Kelly, lead guitar, uh, Dana Strum, bass, glass, ELS, drums. Side one, you've got, like, Reach for the Sky, Out of Love, The Wildlife, Days Gone By. Um, hmm. Days gone by. All right. Mm. Mm. Dance for me, baby. Times they change. Move to the music. Real love. Shape this place. Mm. All right. Mm. Uh, streets of broken hearts. Hold on. Do you know, old man? And an acoustic version of Days Gone By. Now, this was Slaughter's second album. Um... Peaked at number eight on the U.S. Billboard album charts. Uh, the actual the album artwork was made by John John Leash. Now the singles, uh, the Wildlife Days Gone By, they were all top ten hits for Slaughter. But uh, as you know, 1992 things were about to change for the whole hair metal genre. So, and Nirvana with grunge music coming in. Um, it wasn't long after that before 1994 they were dropped by uh, the record company, uh, EMI. Unfortunately, um, Tim Slaughter, Tim Kelly guitarist, on February 5th, 1998, guitarist Tim, Tim Kelly was killed in an auto accident in the Arizona desert. Um, headed like uh, Highway 96, hit head on by an 18 wheeler when it uh, crossed the median line. Uh, Tim is like uh, buried at St. Ignatius Cemetery in Pennsylvania. And here we give it like a, um, a salute to like Mr. The Dearly Departed Tim Kelly. Mm. Mm. All right. So, yeah, that's our tape deck, our tape deck, tape, tape deck classic Slaughter, the wildlife. And I did post like uh, interviews with like Mark Slaughter and both like uh, the videos, uh, the wildlife days gone by um, on my blogcast pages, my Facebook pages. Pretty rocking for this band. All right, the original band, Slaughter. And that's your uh, tape deck classic for tonight. Um, all right, so, yeah. All right, our tape deck classic, Slaughter, the wildlife. Does anybody remember these? Okay. But it's available in CD form, too. So, all right. Hmm. 
All right, Let's see what we have. Okay, it is still, like I said, I posted like uh, uh, the wildlife and days gone by, those videos, plus interviews with Mark Slaughter on my blogcast pages, my regular Facebook page. So look for it. Um, boom. Yeah. All right. So we did, I did start about a couple of minutes earlier, earlier tonight, just so that I could get like the, my predictions out of the way for the Super Bowl. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so, mm, okay. And, and mm, oh, 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 let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. Excuse me. It's still anybody's game here. Uh, San Francisco still leads by 10. Um, at all oh, incomplete pass. Oh, my God. Kansas City threw an incomplete pass. Mahomes threw the uh, incomplete pass there. So, yeah. Um, live Super Bowl updates. Of course, I predicted through the wheel. Through the wheel and the Super Bowl deal. All right. I predicted that, like, uh, the game would be, like, uh, 49-31, Kansas, Kansas City 28. So we're nowhere near that, basically. So, all right. Hmm. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 6.0, episode 279, Sunday, January 11, 2024. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> all right. So, hmm, yeah. All right, gong time there. All right. Um, now, before we get to my most favorite time in the broadcast, I'm going to use a little bit of cube time here. Take the cube out of its like uh, holster. Uh, try and get a ten turns on a. This is a Rubik's cube. It's a toy from the 1980s. Very popular. So I'm going to try and get a color. One, two, uh, three. Um, mm, uh, four, there we go. All right. So, um, mm, all right. All right. So I did not, um, you know, just screwing around with it. There's the orange side. So I'll put it back in a big gym podcast live coffee mug. All right. So we're crowned here for tonight. Um, company by a good cigar. Bolivia, Havana. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Accompanied by that, we got a crown royal vanilla going on here tonight. Pairing it up. Hmm. All right. So, oh, update. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, let's see here. Oh, okay. It is now, it is now 49ers 20, Chiefs 17, and I believe the, the, so. Um, nowhere, well, it's kind of close. It'll be kind of close. And San Francisco still leads, uh, you know, 20 to 17. So, all right. Um, all right. So let me see here. 2017. All right. 20 to 17. All right. Yeah. Okay. So there we are. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Um, craft beer for tonight. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Got a bit distracted there. The craft beer for tonight it is called uh, Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, right outside of Godrich. Mm. Trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Um, beer is very sweet tasting. It's a good spring summer beer, good breakfast beer. Um, I don't see it a uh, good sporting event beer. Uh, good, you know, day drinking beer. Um, look at how look at the look at the thickness of that. And I'm gonna top it up. Um, all right. 
So yeah. Mmm. 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 Sweet and tangy. Mmm. Yeah. If you have breakfast at 11 o'clock, you can have one of these. It's okay. So strawberry cream ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, Canada. So I'll put that back. I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast coming up shortly. If you want to throw it a number, see if it matches up with mine, feel free to do so. Um, I'll just put this back right here. All right. Mm, okay. It is still 2017. Boom. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Little intermission right there. Uh, the replay. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, kind of an interception there. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So, mm. okay. All right. Hmm. All right. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, mm, okay. All right. So, yeah. Uh, Bongo Solo there. The, um, I want to say to everybody, the Big Jim Blogcast, before we get to my most favorite time in the blogcast, that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And all these audio listening platforms are your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. And I want to give shouts out to me watching the Sarnia, Port Elgin groups, uh, Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock supporting Sarnia 2.0, uh, Lizards Bar and Grill, um, all the Chain Reaction groups, great band there. Uh, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock groups, all the craft beer, cigars. Sci-fi, uh, sci Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, the blog groups, classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, Rubik's, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger groups. Um, all right. So as we start, okay. Mm. All right. So as we get to our most favorite time in the blogcast, all right. So we have, oh, wait. Mm. All right. So, mm -hmm. all right. Mm. All right. We start my most favorite time in the broadcast. It is cold. This week in Van Halen history. All right. So this is from February 11th, February 5th to February 11th. Uh, February 5th, 1983, Van Halen played the Cylindro Municipal in Montevideo, Uruguay. February 5th, 2014, Alex Van Halen attends the Anaheim uh, AMA Supercross. Race at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. February 6, 2008, Van Halen plays the Wells Fargo Event Center in Des Moines, Iowa. February 6, 1987, David Lee Roth plays the Brown County Arena in Green Bay. February 7, uh, 2012, Van Halen releases. Um, all right. Van Halen releases a different kind of truth. Um, all right. So, hmm. February 7th, 1979, David Lee Roth and Alex Van Halen take a promotional trip for interviews in South Africa. February 9th, 1992, Van Halen plays the Roberts Municipal Stadium in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, February 9th, 1989, Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen attends the Polak uh, Medium Group Party at the Pellet Restaurant in L.A., California. February 10th, 1978, Van Halen's debut album is released. All right. Uh, February 11th, 1984, Van Halen plays a municipal auditorium in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Hmm. All right. And February 11th, 1983, Sammy Hagar plays the Alandro uh, Theater for Performing Arts in Las Vegas, Nevada. And that is it for this week in Van Halen history. All right. So, okay. So, we'll put that back up there. We've got live Super Bowl updates. It is still 20 to 17. Oh, 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 whoa. All right. Kansas City made a successful, like, uh, pass. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Almost there. 
Almost there, boys. All right. So, boom. All right. Bongo solo right there. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right. My craft beer for tonight. Oh, 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 they've almost made it. Craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Bolivia, Havana, Cuba, a cigar by Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia, Ontario. And accompanied by Crown Royal Vanilla. All right. So, mm, mm, mm. All right. Um, it's the crown beer for tonight. And I'm going to top this up. Oh, they are very close to the. Chiefs are very close to like uh, to the 49ers. Oh, let's see what what's going on here. Oh man! Oh, down. Craft beer for tonight. It is called Strawberry Cream Ale. It is by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario. They are right on tw Highway 21. Big barn. Can't miss it. I'm um, trying this beer for the very first time tonight. I'm giving it a rating in a couple of minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very tangy. Good spring summer beer, good brunch beer. Uh, probably one of the most healthiest beers that out there. Um, I'll put this down. Oh wait, we gotta. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so okay, come on, come on. Oh 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 oh, oh no way! Kansas City choked. Kansas City choked on. Oh, it was a touchdown. It was a touchdown. Oh oh. oh. Now the Chiefs are in the lead, twenty-three, but the Chiefs are in the lead by three. Wow! So I guess that's uh, forty-nine or thirty-one. KC twenty-eight. We're uh, almost getting close to that, but uh, yeah. So I will rate the beer in a few seconds here. <laughs> All right. I will rate the beer in a few seconds here. I want to like uh, give like a ten gong salute to a couple of legendary uh, entertainers that um, that have passed away the last week. Uh, what Toby Keith and uh, Carl Weathers, of course. Toby Keith passed away February twenty fifth, twenty twenty four, from stomach cancer. Of course, like what can you say about Toby Keith? Yeah. Like, I mean, 19 studio albums, great songs. Carl Weathers, his best role was Apollo Creed in the Rocky movies. He passed away February 1st, 2024, of a heart attack. And I'm going to give 10 gong salutes to both of these gentlemen. Here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, yeah. Ten gong salutes to both Toby Keith and Carl Weathers. So, all right. And also, if I haven't forgotten, all right. So, if you've got any complaints or compliments, um, call the Big Jim Flogcast like hotline, one eight hundred triple X multi X. Call on your rotary phone, your cell. Um, and I'll do my best to address those concerns. 1-800-TRIPLE-X, MULTI-X, BIG GIF, BLOGCAST, LIVE HOTLINE. So, yeah, there you go. All right. So, all right. Ciao, everybody. All right. So, yeah. Okay. And that is the BIG GIF, BLOGCAST, LIVE HOTLINE. So, yeah. Uh, 2023 KS KC leads by three points. All right. So, okay. Hmm. 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 All right. So. Yeah, we like this, baby. But, uh, all Excuse me, it went down the wrong way. So, yeah. Um, all right. Hmm. All right. So, before I give the beer a rating, uh, yeah. So, it is boom. It's a big Jim Podcast Live version 6.0.
Episode 279, Sunday, January 11, 2024. Um, yeah, so, all right. We had a lot of Chiefs fans there. All right. So, all right. What I promised everybody, I'm going to uh, give the, the beer a rating. So we've got a good, copying it is a good cigar. It is a Bolivia Habana Cuba, Cuban. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get my numbers here ready. Um, believe me, I thought really long and hard about this. Um, let's see. So uh, let's see here. All right. Mm. Well, all right. So anyways, yeah, we got a, a company that is Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, ooh, all right. Mm. Mm. Now, 2024, Chiefs lead by four in the fourth quarter. Uh, let's see. All right. So they are attempting a field goal, a field, uh, like a kick. All right. There we go. Okay. Is he gonna, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on here? All right. Don't mean to keep you guys in suspense here. All right. So now we've got like our craft beer here tonight. My final thoughts on this. It's a good spring and summer beer. Mm. Mm. Very sweet, very tangy, good breakfast brunch beer. Uh, they're by Strawberry Cream Ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, Canada. Um, mm. All right. So it's very sweet, very tangy. I can't see this being a, I'll top it up. Um, it's a good breakfast brunch beer. Um, mm. Mm, all right. So what am I going to give it? Um, let's see here. Uh, let's say seven. All right, Sue, you were close. Seven out of ten. Seven. All right. So. Seven out of ten. All right. So you were close. 7.5, but seven out of ten on this beer. So very sweet, very tangy. Uh, Good breakfast brunch beer. Um, you can almost mistake it for orange juice. Uh, but yeah, strawberry cream ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company in Zurich, Ontario, Canada, seven out of ten. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So put that back here. Seven out of ten. Um, yep. Uh, wow, 2024. Um, okay. So. All right. So yeah. Um you know, before I do that, uh yeah, so I rated the beer. Uh I'm gonna give you guys an inspirational motivational quote. So let's see here. What's going on here? Inspirational motivational quote. No matter how dirty your past is, your future is spotless. And I'll repeat that again. No matter how dirty your past is, your future is spotless. And that's by unknown. So all right. Um Mm, all right, and as I'm in the past, okay, here we go. I think this is a game is a foregone conclusion now. Um, if you want these, t if you want a T-shirt like mine, um, or a white T-shirt, uh, baseball jersey, any design, um, or the classic T-shirt, um, uh, they are thirty-five dollars, shipping and handling included, four to six weeks for delivery. You inbox me. With your money order or e transfer, uh, or uh, in on Big Jim Podcast Live pages, or contact me personally on my personal Facebook page, and I'll do my best to get those out to you. I've uh, sent out a couple of t shirts to a lot of happy people, so yeah. Um, oh, what are they doing? Oh, okay, so there we go. The t shirts you want a tank top, any design, just e email me, inbox me with. Your with what you want, and I will do my best to get that out to you. $35 shipping and handling included, four to six weeks for delivery. So there we go. All right. Mm. 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 And if you have any concerns, complaints, compliments about Big Jim Broadcast Live, ring me up on the hotline on your rotary phone or your cell, 1 800 triple X multi X. There we go. So, all right. Bam.
Um, yeah. So what are we do? What are we doing here? KFC. All right, KC. So I'm gonna owe somebody five bucks on Monday morning. So yeah. Hmm. Mm. All right. So. Hmm. Mm. All right. So yeah. Mm. There we are. All right. So yeah, for a few minutes. All right. As we go off the air, uh, it it is like uh, San Francisco twenty, Chiefs twenty uh, twenty four. So Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs is like uh, earning his money tonight. So yeah. All right. Bam. Okay. So we gave the beer a seven out of ten. All right. So yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Huh. All right, so yeah, what's happening here? All right, so Chiefs have the ball. Uh, it's third and ten in the fourth quarter. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 incomplete pass. All right, so there we are. All right, okay. So yeah. Um all right. All right, people. That's it for me. Uh Big Jim Broadcast Live version 6.0 episode 279, Sunday, January 11, 2024. Uh our craft beer review, strawberry cream ale by the Bad Apple Brewing Company, Zurich, Ontario, 7 out of 10. Um, we get some cube time. Our birthday shout outs, Becky Tibbetts, Troy Piper, Steve McLean, Leah Hayward, Judy Bresford, Tyler Olson, Rita Bellevue, Chad Groh, Stephanie Wallace, Craig Neenhaus, Bill Wilson, Carrie McMillan, Mike Blosser, Countdowns, Local Events, our Terminator Tree Rides, Ice Machines, our Patrick Swayze, The Beast, uh, our classic board game, How to Host a Murder, uh, classic tag teams, the Dynamic Dudes, Vince Gore Slug from Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Rockstar Plane Crashes, Buddy Holly. Uh, Tape Tech Classics, Slaughter the Wildlife. This week in Van Halen History, Ray of the Beer. Um, let's say to everybody, thank you for podcast live is in spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all these audio listening platforms. It's your podcast too. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. We're going to show you watching the Sarnia Fort Elgin groups, Sarnia Rock, to show you guys rock. Chain reaction, all the pop culture record class, nostalgia groups, uh, all the Van Halen, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock groups, craft beer, cigars, sci fi, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blogs, black classic TV and movies, birthdays, bongos, Terminator 3, Rubik's Cube groups, right on. As my prediction didn't come true, as we go off the air, it's Kansas City 20, San Francisco, or Kansas City 24, San Francisco 20. So, yeah, cheers, everyone. Uh, I got problems, complaints. Let's call the uh, hotline 1 800 multi X triple X. There we go. So, yeah. um, our inspirational, motivational quote no matter how dirty your past is, your future is spotless. So, all right, you'll see me next weekend. Um, be good, everybody. Uh, for Big Jim Broadcast Live version 6.0, I'm Jim. Sunday, episode 79, Sunday, January 11th, 2024. All right. So, cheers, everyone. <laughs>